want to do a, another teaching about the existence of God. You got to keep in mind that uh, some people actually believe that I won't, you know, they believe I won't believe in God until uh, there's scientific proof that God exists. Okay. Think about this. If faith is needed to believe that God exists, and that'll be true throughout all of history, you know, man is always going to need faith to believe in an invisible God. Therefore, if there's any scientific fact that God exists, faith will become not needed. Do you understand what I'm saying? If there's scientific facts that God exists, faith will no longer be needed. Therefore, there never is going to be any scientific proof that God exists. Why? Because you're always going to need faith. So if you're waiting for scientists to prove that God exists, you're wasting something that is more valuable than gold, something that's more valuable than money. You're wasting your time. Do you hear what I say? These are pearls of wisdom. I hope you take them to heart because they're true. There's never going to be any scientific proof that God exists, ever. So quit wasting your time. There is plenty of scientific proof through archaeology that most of the Bible is, uh, all of the stories in the Bible are true. Archaeologists over in the Middle East, around Israel, and the surrounding areas have uncovered layers of towns and cities and uh, uh, around the area and other artifacts uh, supporting the Bible to be 100% historically accurate. Do you hear what I just said? In other words, scientists, if you believe in science, archaeologists are science, scientists. Those scientists have uncovered layers of history around the area of the Middle East, throughout Israel, Jerusalem, and have uncovered many artifacts that give way and shed light on the fact that the Bible is actually 100% true. So you as a, if you're a non-believer, think about this. If there's plenty of science that proves the Bible, the Holy Bible, to be 100% historically accurate. There must be a God. There's never going to be any scientific proof that God exists because you're always going to need faith. And I know I've repeated that many times because I want that to sink in. Do you understand? I don't mean to repeat, repeat myself, but that's, that's the main thrust of my video here. There's never going to be any scientific proof because you're always going to need faith to believe in God, period. Okay? Theories of evolution, they sound good, right? We evolved, you know, from apparently from fish and then the fish went up on the land and grew legs and arms and then crawled around and then stood upright and all of a sudden there's a man. That sounds good and it you know, millions and millions of years, but there's uh, troubles, many, many troubles in the theory of evolution. Uh, the, the biggest one is, where's all the missing links? Where's all the missing links between the ape and man? There had to be thousands, maybe millions of species, and then maybe millions and billions of each species. There's billions of people, right? A whole lot of monkeys and gorillas and orangutans and chimpanzees, right? Where's all the missing links? Where's any proof of missing links? Where's any bones, any fossils? Do you understand? The theory of evolution is garbage. Darwin is a false teacher. His teachings are false teachings. They are. There's only one true teaching in the world, and that's the Holy Bible. The Holy Bible is 100% accurate. Do you understand? In the beginning, God cr created light. He said, let there be light. That was the first thing that God did was created light. If you read Genesis, he said, in the beginning, God created light. Now, a lot of people think that means the sun. That's not true. You have to read the Bible a little more carefully. 
He didn't make the sun till the fourth day. So what does it mean in the beginning? Uh, God said, let there be light. That's a spiritual thing. What does it mean in the beginning? Spiritual light is truth, knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Do you understand? So what was the first thing that God created? Truth. He had to establish truth before he could make anything else. Because if he didn't, anything before truth could be a lie. You understand what I'm saying here? It might be a little complicated. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully I'm doing, you know, you understand what I'm saying. He established truth first before he created anything else. He had to. You understand? God created truth, not man. Okay? So he, I'll say it again. He created truth before he created anything else. He created the, uh, the sun, the moon, the stars on the fourth day. You understand? So he established truth. Okay? 